If your Facebook news feed is anything like mine, lately you've probably seen a whole lot of French flag profile pictures. You've probably also seen a lot of people saying, why don't you care about Lebanon? Now, French lives are by no means worth more than Lebanese lives, but if you look at the responses to the Paris attacks, it's easy to see how you might get the impression they are. When a tragedy happens, it's always good to think critically about it, especially since violence is so often seen through a very racist lens. So what if you did react more strongly to Paris than Beirut? Are you a racist? Maybe, but you're probably just dealing with compassion fatigue. It's a fact of life for people who work with tragedy daily, like paramedics and aid workers. The human brain can't process a tragedy on full blast 24 hours a day, and when you have critical work to do, you learn how to compartmentalize your emotions. You don't have to be a crisis worker to experience compassion fatigue. We all do, and most of the time it's okay. I keep hearing people say, why doesn't the media cover violence in the Middle East? Uh, the media covers violence in the Middle East a lot, which is why you're desensitized to it. If you're not getting emotional about it, it's because you can't connect with it, not because you haven't heard about it. It's normal to compartmentalize tragedy. It's a defense mechanism that allows us to function even in a world that's often a pretty dark place. I used to think it was my moral duty to personally grieve for every single injustice in the world, so I tried. I basically lost all ability to function. I became a totally garbage student and a really crappy friend, but at least I cared, right? No, I didn't do shit, and neither did the people policing your emotional responses. I'm not saying stop being critical of the media or stop examining your own biases. Far from it. But I am saying stop beating yourself up over not grieving hard enough for an evenly distributed cross-section of the world's population. Grief alone is not useful. It doesn't change lives or solve problems. It's just a feeling. And if you're feeling it, for anyone, then that's compassion we can use. Whether that means sponsoring an entire family of Syrian refugees or baking cookies for your French neighbor, make your compassion productive. We need positive action way more than we need the grief police. I'm Elaine Tamblin-Watts, and that's how I see it.